guys. I thought I'd do a quick video. I have the big baby shower tomorrow, and this is the basket that I'm making for the gift. All right, I've added a few of those links to the front of it. I made a diaper cake, so I added the leftover diapers in the bottom of the, of the basket. This basket I got at Dollar General, so it was a pretty good deal. Um, let's see. I've labeled everything because when she's taking it out, I know things are going to be really hectic. So this is a crib blanket that I made her. It's fleece on one side and minky on the other. And these are the colors of her um, room. Okay, so that I'm just going to put in here. Um, next, we have the car seat canopy that I made her that will fit over top of the car seat to keep the baby from the weather and such. Um, let me see. Okay. I made, my son's a big Flyers fan, so I made a bunch of um, fur pets that are terry cloth on one side and Flyers fabric on the other side. So again, I labeled those, put a ribbon around them. Also, um, I made balances for the baby's room. There are two windows. So I wanted, this is what she's going with, woodlands, deer, you know, that type thing. You guys see okay? All right, so I'm putting those in there. Um, a swaddle, I made her that. This is my grandchild, so I know I go a little overboard. I sell Norwex, and this is like the best detergent out there for babies and for the earth. All right, so that's in there. Um, baby hangers. So I'm actually going to put those down on the sides here. Try to do the same on both sides if possible. Um, by the light of the moon, uh, the diaper cake I did, which you'll see a video of later, um, has a baby deer sitting at the top. So I thought this would be a cute um, baby book to go along with the deer, because there's a baby deer at the top. Um, this is a pillow that I made that I will be embroidering um, the back, or on the front, the initials of the baby probably in um, blue, maybe blue, because it's the blue and mint and white. So see how that just kind of stands up and back? I have a bottle brush. Everybody can use a bottle brush. I have some outlet plugs, which I think I'm adding over here. Oh, upper pads went down some. Then we have some corner guards, which I'm gonna put over there. And these are BPA free. I got a little onesie with the pliers. So this basket will, she'll love it and he'll love it too. I'm gonna put that in the front there. And then I also made some binky holders out of the flyers fabric. And these were the binkies that she had on her list. So I think I'm gonna put those up top here and kind of make it look like um, suspenders. Okay. And then I also sell doTERRA and we have a really great all natural diaper rash. So I think we can put that in here. Or let's put it in front here since there's only one of them. So there you go, there's the basket. Now, I have this, which I rushed out to AC Moore to get before they closed, um, because this stuff is great for wrapping baskets. And this is the real wide one, and normally I think it's like 12 something a yard, and I think it was like 40, or 12 something a roll. And I think it was like 40, 40% 40 off, something like that. So. I'm gonna roll that out. Oh, I also have a small hockey stick that I repainted. Um, 
it said Niagara Falls on it. So I sanded it down and put some of the, Mod Podge, some of the Flyers emblems on it. Let me see if this is tall enough. I think we need to go a little more to the middle. There we go. That's high enough. What I want to do is I want to roll this up and have it meet the top of the other one. Oops, my light. Bring it back. Got my scissors. Don't be too concerned about the sides. What your first priority when wrapping a, a basket like this is get the thing at the top. Scissors are crap. Tore it up some. All right. I'm gonna actually pull it up to the top like this. Now we're gonna start working our sides in. What I tell everybody is the best by like, getting this all here at the top. And then you worry about taking like the sides. You can see it better this way. And bringing it around back and taping it. See? I can't let go of that. So don't worry about filling in the sides too much or gathering at the sides because the side is just going to get wrapped around the back. If it doesn't stretch around the back, which it looks like this side is not going to stretch all the way around the back, I'm actually just going to pull this up and gather it and tape. Because again, they're not going to be looking at the sides. Push my burp pads up in there. So you can do it like this. And then you can take this. Now this is going to be part one. And then what I will do is I will go on and make the bow in part two. I thought this was clear tape. So I'm going to have to go back and fix that. I don't like that showing. Then you want to try and get this as close to the middle as fast as can. Probably, because like I said, I think it took too much on that side. So we've got our side there. I'm going to add some string. Well, I'll use this for now. This is all I have. And then when I put the bow on, I will remove this. This is just to hold it in place until I get the bow. Okay, and then what you do is you just kind of trim this off so it looks even. Okay, there you go. I'll have to just tape a little back here. But there you go. Who wouldn't want that as a baby gift, right? Okay, we're back for part two. Now I'm going to go with several colors in this bow. Orange, blue, black, and gray. Please excuse Blaze. He thinks it's time to eat. <laughs> All right, so 
what I want to do, I'm going to do this one by hand. And I'm going to make sure that the two sides meet and measure. I want to do a third. That looks like it's about right. Okay. Then I'm going to go with the blue next. I kind of wanted to tone this down a little, so that's why I went with the orange. And tails are going to be about the same, but the bow is just going to be like a tad shorter than the other one. Then the other. So I'm doing three of this one also. I chose to do this one by hand. Just measuring to make sure they're the same size and they are Blaze. he's a very impatient little dude and you know I don't let, use pipe cleaners I use the tinsel ties so I'm gonna get that in there and actually I think I'm gonna do the gray next because it's lighter. So I'm going to go with two over here. And a little bit smaller. I guess he just wants to say hi. As always. Use my clock. Did y'all have one like that? Tells you when it's time to wake up. Tells you when it's time to go to bed. That would be Blaze. Then for the outer layer, the last of the bow, I'm going to go with the black. And I want about the same size tie. I'm going to start on this side. take a pretty good piece of this because I want to tie the um, hockey stick on here so I think I'm gonna tie that on first but I should have brought up my no maker so let's this. Gonna get rid of that red yarn. Temporary tie. Now that we got this one here. Twist it, but then take it around the back and tie it even tighter. Right. Now, let's fluff this baby. Check it out. like my bow tags, my bow tails down in the front. So, 
one there. One. Oh. Uncooperative bow in the house. There we go. Sometimes you just got to yank on it. Why this tail is being so stubborn. There we go. Alright, so I got my blue, orange, blue, orange, blue. I'm sorry, can you see what I'm doing? It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing for me if I don't stand in front of it. Okay, let's get gray up. to dovetail. Most of this ribbon is from Sims. Not bad, huh? There's just too much stuff to put in a bunch of bags. So, it was trying to break out a basket. And I thought, why not show you how I make my gift baskets? So he's got his hockey stick, so it's something here for everybody. There's the colors that she likes. And there's the colors that he likes. Just a combination of everybody's tastes. Okay. All right. If I've inspired you to do a gift basket, I'd love to see it. So don't hesitate to just um, send me a picture. But... Um, showers tomorrow. We've been going at it for quite a while now, so finally everything has come to the end. Everything's done. Everything's ready to go. The centerpieces, the diaper cake, the gift. Um, so I'm going to try and take a short uh, video tomorrow of all the um, decorations at the shower, and I'll talk to you soon. And thanks for joining. Bye-bye.